What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to fix the problem when your Mac is not detecting Bluetooth devices. This problem is usually caused by Bluetooth settings, corrupted Bluetooth cache, because of your Bluetooth device not being in pairing mode, or interference from other devices. First, let's verify your Bluetooth settings. Access your macOS settings. From here, head to the Bluetooth section and make sure Bluetooth is enabled. You can find a list of previously connected devices below and nearby devices that not have been connected below that. If you can see the device you're trying to connect to in any of these lists, then click on its eye icon. This could be your controller, headset or Bluetooth mouse. Next, click on Forget this device. Wait a couple of seconds and then enter pairing mode with your Bluetooth device again to make sure it's discoverable. This often involves holding the power button or pairing button on your Bluetooth device. After entering pairing mode, the Bluetooth device should show up in the nearby devices section again, ready to be paired. You can also verify your Bluetooth connections in the control center for quicker access. In case this didn't help, or if your device never showed up, then it's suggested to ensure you're running the latest macOS version. Back in your settings, head to the general section and click on software update. Here, download the latest update before restarting your Mac. If your macOS version is up to date, but you haven't restarted your Mac in a while, then it's suggested to do so. Click the Apple icon on the top left of your screen and select Restart. This should only take a couple of seconds and is especially helpful if you installed any applications that could interfere with Bluetooth on your device while in pairing mode. Lastly, you should remove any old or unused Bluetooth pairings in your settings. Head back to your settings application. Here, in the Bluetooth section, Click the eye icon for any unused Bluetooth devices and select to forget the device. This will clear old ones to avoid conflicts with new connections. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.